you lad dropped the shit out of Drake Ayala. Uh, we don't got to talk about the rest of it, but you know. No, nah, we will. We will. I'm not going to shy away from it. Uh, I think that comes to a, it's so hard to explain because it happened last year. I don't know if you guys saw my, my uh, NCAA matches from last year with McKee first round when I was beating him 6 out going into the third period and with Cardinal when I was beating him by two with like 30 seconds left. I I don't know how to explain it. One thing I do want to say though, and I'm not gonna shy away from saying this on air, he was pinned. All right. Dude, dude beat me twice. I'll give it to him. Dude was freaking flat. And I think that ref was getting paid. That was bullshit. Sorry. I just gotta say that. He was flat. He was gurgling. I was squeezing the absolute <laughs> piss out of him. I'm I'm not even kidding. He was like <laughs> I was squeezing I was sque- everything I had, all right? I was like, oh, yes, that was a pretty nice throw. And I I was waiting for the ref to slap the mat. But props to him for fighting off his back. You know, he's pinned. And uh, so the rest of that match, uh, the second period, I know I wrestled good. I just kept focusing on underhooking his right side and just a hard hand fight. I got I struggle with kids with a really good lefty single. Um, and that's what I had in the blood round this year that Kayla did really good with that too, which is something I'm going to work on. But, uh, I just remember in the third period we were wrestling. I was fine to start it off. I was like, all right, let's get another takedown to end this match. And, uh, he took me down on the edge and I just remember like getting, hitting my ass, him like collecting two, the ref, like putting two up. And I looked over at my corner and like Smith was like yelling and my coaches looked like frantic. Like they were like, and I just remember like fog. Like, I just remember, like, I just saw like, cause people thought, people thought this, people thought Ayala's got this gas tank. Like he just broke certain, like certain's got no gas tank. Like what? Okay. Yes. It looks like that in the match. I was not tired at all. It was a complete mental. I, I don't even know how to explain it. Like if no, you're not in <laughs> can't you can't feel it but it was like the most confused like I didn't know what was going on I didn't know what the score was I I'd step on the line and he's he's in my face all these Iowa fans are screaming blah 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 he's in on my leg oh I'm holding on next thing I know I'm on my back like it was the most hectic thing ever and I can't even tell you but it's like the worst feeling imaginable and uh yeah the match ended I ended up beating me by like four or something when I didn't like I said, at the end of the match, when he took me down to kind of tie it up, so we'd go in overtime, I didn't even know what the score was. I was just holding on for life, and he ended up getting back points. Like, why was I holding on? Why was I doing all of this? Like, it's so hard to watch that match. It is so hard to look back and watch it, but, uh, yeah, I, just, I was distraught after that one. That one hurt me a little bit just because, like, why, you know? Um, 